All right, hello and welcome to this video about South Carolina solar. We're going to be talking about uh, South Carolina solar panels, uh, tax incentives, rebates, uh, SREX, costs, things like things like that. Uh, I'm the author of the Definitive Guide to Residential Solar in the U.S., which is available on Amazon. Or you can get a free uh, digital copy of the book below, uh, or the, the Amazon link will be will be below uh, in the description of the video as well. So in 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 the uh, the book, uh, the second section of the book is a breakdown of all the solar policies, net metering policies, rebates, tax incentives, um, you know, for all 50 U.S. states. Um, uh, so you know, flip to the the you know your state if you want to see any other any other state or or uh, you know just learn more about. Uh, solar and how it works and how to maximize your uh, solar savings and avoid costly mistakes. So let's talk net metering. So South Carolina's policy on net metering is designed to enable uh, homeowners who want to, uh, who own homes to generate credits based on the excess solar energy produced. Uh, these credits can be utilized to offset the cost of their energy bills each month um, or even uh, paid out in cash at the end of the year. So this policy encourages the adoption of solar energy uh, as a means of reducing the reliance on traditional sources of energy and contributing to a cleaner, uh, more sustainable future. <laughs> right? You can sell your you can sell your your uh, 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 you know access energy back to the grid. Right? Uh, okay. So let's talk tax credits. South Carolina solar system owners can uh, can claim a personal tax credit on their South Carolina state taxes equal to twenty five percent of the system cost. Mind you, this is on top of the 30% federal tax credit offered to all Americans, right? So homeowners in South Carolina, uh, uh, you know, very advantageously can get 55% of their solar systems paid for between the state and the federal government, right? Uh, this does come with some, you know, stipulations, of course. You have to have enough taxable income to qualify at the state level and at the federal level. Uh, the maximum credit they can claim in any given year is... 3,500 or 50% of the taxpayer's liability for that taxable year, whichever is less. If the amount of the credit exceeds 3,500 for each system, the taxpayer may carry forward the access uh, uh, for up to 10 years. So, so if you if you can't qualify it in one year, you know you can pay it forward in you know two, three, five, ten years, um, you know to, to to get that tax credit. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a CPA, so you know legal disclaimer. You know, t consult your, your your tax credit for, or you know, t consult your tax specialist or CPA. Uh, uh, you know, if if you want, you know, confirmation, clarification on anything regarding here, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer the questions, but just know I'm not a CPA, right? Uh, the South Carolina also offers as, as the state of South Carolina also offers a property tax exemption. Uh, for 80% of the value of renewable energy uh, property and applies to property taxes at, uh, as business personal property or utility property. Um, you know, just whatever legal tax jargon. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, homeowner rights. As a result of the passing of the Energy Freedom Act in 2019, homeowners residing in South Carolina are now able to exercise their right to install solar panels on their property without the fear of, of, of uh, encountering any uh, constraining roadblocks such as restrictions or regulations in in, imposed by an HOA, right? So your HOA is not legally allowed to say you can't put up solar panels, right? Um, the legislation not only permits homeowners to harness the power of solar energy, but it also grants them the peace of mind that comes with knowing that they won't face any impediments or, or guidelines infringing upon their uh, solar panel installation. Okay, uh, this is this all comes right from the book, by the way. So I just pulled, you know, pulled it right from the book. Um, uh, okay, let's talk SREX and rebates. Uh, homeowners in South Carolina uh, who have opted for solar energy to power their homes uh, may reap the benefits available uh, to, uh, uh, in, in the form of SREX or solar renewable energy credits Right, that are offered by the utility company, as you know, and, and, and by the state. Different different states have different, you know, different versions of this. Different utility companies have different policies around their SREX. Um, uh, but these incentives can be utilized as a means to counterbalance the expen the, the the expenses and costs uh, of the solar installation and the solar panels and your overall solar system. So SREX are a really cool way to offset, um, you know. And I would just you know search 
South Carolina SREX or solar renewable energy credits in South Carolina or better yet, you know, for your individual utility company if you're using Duke or, you know, whatever the, some of the other big utility companies are uh, in the state of South Carolina. Okay, so, so uh, choosing a South Carolina solar company or installer, I recommend choosing a national installer with a local presence. So, you know, rather than like some mom and pop, uh, you know, solar installer, right, who may do a good job, but they may not, you know, uh, you, want, you want a big national installer because they're going to be, you know, when, when you're talking about like production guarantees and things like that, you want a company that can back up their, their guarantees and th like that are going to be around in 25 years, right? You want them, you know, want, you want a company that's most likely going to be around and, you know, mom and pop, you know, small installers most likely, you know, I mean, the chances of them, you know, operating in 25 years or, you know, a couple of years down the road, you know, is, is much less likely, right? So our exclusive solar installer is a national company who's done over 130,000 solar installations across the U.S. and has a South Carolina office or has offices in South Carolina located in Greenville and Charleston that serve the entire state. I recommend, I also recommend installing solar panels with a company that has a production guarantee, which should not be confused with a manufacturer warranty. One of the biggest ways that homeowners get a bad deal in solar is when their solar systems start underperforming five to 10 years after the, their panel installation. I write about this, by the way, I write about this in the book, right? This happens all the time. Uh, a, a production guarantee states the actual amount of electricity that your system will produce for 25 years. So a lot of solar companies even claim to have a production guarantee, but unless the, uh, the amount of kilowatt hours is stated clearly on the contract, right? The amount of annual kilowatt hours of production is stated clearly on the, pro on the contract. It's not a true production guarantee. So some companies may claim to have a production guarantee because they guarantee that the system will produce something Right. And you want it to be very specific, especially when it comes to, you know, protecting your, your it's like an insurance policy for your system, you know, over over, you know, the life of, of, of the system. Right. So for more information about residential solar and to get a copy of the book, The Definitive Guide to Residential Solar in the U.S., visit the net zero home dot com forward slash book. Right. You have the choice. You have the choice to pay a few dollars for shipping uh, or you get, you know, you can get a digital uh, version of it. Those links are below in the, the description of this video. If you have any questions, definitely, you know, ask them below. I'll do my best to, to answer them for you. Get your copy of the book and, uh, uh, you know, enjoy uh, your, the process of uh, going solar in the state of South Carolina.